Hey everybody, James Jaeger. I'm back with my friend. Hey James. man, Jerry Smith. Good where, to have you guys. Today. Where are we at today? We've never been here before. I I, I haven't been. Well, I mean, this we've is, never done a video here before. This is the this is one of our safe houses. This is a <laughs> this is our black ops site in Clarksville, Tennessee. <laughs> You can get the address by going to Revive Clarksville. Yeah, it's a, it's a very public, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah, Clarksville, Tennessee. So if you guys uh, have been watching, I got uh, back on testosterone. And so we got our numbers back. And so I'll go ahead and tell you what my numbers are cause, so he doesn't get in trouble with anybody. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, as long as you say it's okay, I can talk about it. it. It's okay. You, okay. Have, you have my permission to talk about my medical records. So when we... When we did the initials to get you back on, we had a total testosterone of 304. Which is low. Which is, I don't like it. And and we had a free testosterone of like 9.1. Hold on just a second. Let's go back to that 304. Because sure. that's, that's what, if you go to your regular family doctor and he tests your testosterone, that's the number he's going to give you. And they tell you that was normal. Is that three digit number. And, um, and, and so for 49, 300 is actually not really low according to that guideline but it could be as high as i'm making a number up 2000 but if it's if they say it's between normals between 100 and 2000 you're at 300 it's, it's plenty well not for me and not for you and uh so i just wanted to you know to reiterate that point is that there's a, a flexibility well, i mean it doesn't account for accommodate for age so you come in as a healthy young person at 304, and then what do you tell the guy that's 75 that comes in at 304? You guys shouldn't be equivalent. Right. That's insane. That's right. ridiculous. I think the free testosterone is a better marker of that. And just now, are we getting where symptoms are trumping the numbers, you know, in the algorithm for, mm -hmm. for treatment? Mm -hmm. um, and that's just now happening. That's that's recent stuff. Mm -hmm. What's uh, so my test is nine. What a free test is nine. What are we, what's an ideal number or what are we looking for? Well, technically the high end of the range that's normal free is like 23 or 25, depending on age okay. group. So yeah, I want you to high end of, I want okay. you to high end of the free. Okay. All right. So basically triple where it's at now. What's the difference between testosterone and free testosterone? Sure. So total testosterone is everything the machine could measure. So most of that number, in fact, about 98%, gets stuck to proteins like carrier proteins, albumin, sex hormone binding globulin. There's a bunch of these proteins. So the machine can still measure. It's still there. But it's like flies on fly paper. You can count it. They just can't do shit to you. Mm -hmm. so I get, can I say that on? Wait, I can't you, say that, can I? It's just like oh, shit or fly. Are you going to get kicked off of YouTube? For saying shit okay. or fly paper? I, fly I don't, paper. Yeah, I don't. Listen, I, there is no telling what I will get kicked off YouTube for, but it'll be nothing that we think it would be. Awesome. Okay. It's going to be some background music where it's yeah, like you didn't something. pay the fee. Um, so anyway, total is mostly bound up to protein. Free is exactly what it sounds like. It's not bound to anything. It's there, bioavailable to use. Okay. Now, let's talk about estrogen. A lot of guys are like, estrogen's evil, and, and, and it makes you grow titties and, and all that stuff. My estrogen is 15-something right now. 15-1. Uh, what do, what do men need estrogen for? Well, that's a huge debate, but the three most important things I can tell you that are for certain. One, bone health. It makes harder bones to have a bit more estrogen. And the floor that I like to have is 20, so I want it over 20. Um, I really want it more like 40 to 60. But harder bones, um, supposedly less coronary placking. What does that mean? Less strokes and heart attacks. Right. Um, and then the third one would be sexual function. Mm -hmm. You need some for good, healthy sex drive. Just like women need some testosterone. Absolutely. For for good healthy sex. Absolutely. Life. Okay. And so uh, so I've been uh, taking the injections twice a week, 0.5 testosterone ethan ethanate. Enanthate. Enanthate. I can't say it. Enanthate. Um, and so so what's next? I've been doing that, and this is the numbers before I started doing that. So next is more blood work. More blood work, kind of recalibrate where we're at. Um, adjustments dialing what we want and then you can start playing with other things you know these amino acids that we play with for just the next level of recovery from a workout mm -hmm. um, we can right. use them for belly fat loss and all kinds right. of stuff and so what I was telling him uh, in an earlier conversation is I can tell I got testosterone back the levels are higher you know just because when I work out when you work out with testosterone you feel more of a pump like and if you've never had testosterone and you felt a pump before, imagine that being five times more, you know, like 
you, you just feel more blood in, in, in your muscles. And I told him, I, I'm feeling that just not what it used to be. So if I had to go by feeling, I would say my testosterone has increased, but certainly not, you know, at the- To at where the, we had it. Yeah, at the 1200 or whatever. Right, yeah, uh, sure. And uh, so I, is that just all in my head or, or- Well, I mean, I know I can't, I can't lift weights and figure out what my testosterone level is, but I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's all in your head. I think one, there's an acclimation period and you get more efficient at the androgen receptor level for the first, say, three or four months. Like you get more efficient at using the testosterone. So maybe that's a factor and then maybe simply dose is a factor. No. So it's probably not all in your head, no. Okay. Enthinate. Enanthate. <laughs> Enanthate versus cypionate. Sure. Um, bit shorter half-life, maybe by a day. And by half-life, I mean when you give the drug how many days is it functionally there to do something? They get half life because we talk about a tritium all the time and right. night, night sights. Right. So yeah. Thank get you, it. night vision. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't say that either, can I? Sorry. You can say whatever you want. Okay. I like night vision, guys. They're, yeah. nice, they're nice to me. Well, I mean, Jacob's a jackass. Well, well, no, wait a minute. Now, I can't say anything bad about the excess. I love those guys too. <laughs> now, I, now it looks like you're pandering. I'm not pandering. I just like night vision. Sorry. Listen, they didn't come here to listen to you talk about fucking night sights. <laughs> the difference between anthonate and nethonate and nethonate and cypionate. What's the difference? It's a day shorter, a day shorter half life on the anthonate on average. Um, the other thing is, it's a slightly different structure on the front end that doesn't retain as much water from most people. So I get lower water retention, which yields less blood pressure problems. I get a bit shorter half-life, which is conducive to like a twice a week dose. Um, you'll find people that don't efficiently use cypionate. Now they're rare, but they're out there. So if you gave this guy that's not efficient, like let's say James isn't efficient and I gave him a 200 milligram dose. And then I give the guy next to him a 200 milligram dose that is efficient. They'll have vastly different levels of testosterone on the measurement on the back end. So a nanthate seems to be more universally easier to use okay a little bit cleaner how about that okay fair enough i, I will tell you from uh from an injection standpoint i don't with the sipping they usually have a uh a bruise or a lump for a few days and i don't have that with, with the, the yeah I, and, um, then, and that's i know that's a very individual thing so yeah and it may be where you deposit it and the other thing is what's changed with you may be the percentage of white fat and brown fat in your belly. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I'm insulted. The vascularity of fat. <laughs> <laughs> what, okay, what's the difference between, I don't know what that means. What's the difference between white fat and brown fat? Well, typically up here in front of your abdomen, you have a different vascularity of fat. And if you go back to your flank, it's a, it's a different, it's a more brown fat. So when you can have more brown fat, you would absorb the T a bit differently there. So when you go too far forward, you may be making more knots than if you came here where your pistol is. Okay. I didn't I didn't know that, but now I do. Now I know. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any other um, frequently asked questions that maybe you would like to say, oh, I need to tell people this. Here's the one that gets me every time. <laughs> this is we should have started this, with this one. This pisses me off. Can I ever get off testosterone if I started? <laughs> Did you die when you stopped taking testosterone? <laughs> right, no. And here's what's funny. I know tons of people on psychotropics, you know, all these things. And I asked, I asked those people, so your doc prescribed you, you know, Prozac or whatever. How long are you going to take that? And they go, huh? You know, there's no end in sight. But, but, but uh, so to answer that question, I've been on and off testosterone a few times. Testosterone a few times. I'm going to tell you, just like with any medication, do that under a doctor's supervision. Don't just go bam and quit. Like tell them, hey, over the next uh, couple of months, I'd like to to quit, or or a couple of weeks, or a couple of years, whatever, and let them. Let them help you do it. But yeah, you can you can be off testosterone. People said I was meaner off testosterone. Well, I, I, I hear that one too. And, and I think it's for me, when people are on and they feel good, they generally feel good, you probably handle daily stress better because you phone. feel good. You know, you don't have this chronic fatigue as much. When you If you're tired and pissed off, do you want to deal with right. stuff at your office that right. happens? Right. No, you're mad. Right. So yeah, I think the whole Roy Ridge thing is kind of hocus pocus. And I I never I've never in my life had trouble sleeping, but when I'm on testosterone, my sleep is deeper mm -hmm. and more restful. I would agree with that for me too. I think it has to do with um, 
honestly some estrogen and i think it has to do with some dopamine like dopamine sensitivity yeah i agree yeah. with you so i mean and, and and i said this that's my fault uh i, I said think it was like <laughs> mine vibrated when it beeped so like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but my point is um like uh you know like when i when I go to sleep, I think it's because I had more energy during the day. Like, you know, me and the guys, me and Shelton and uh, and Lewis are all, and Joey are meeting at the gym every morning. We've nice. been doing it very regularly. The House of Pain. The, the Painatorium. Yeah. yeah. Stop wow, man. messaging me. Wow. Bitches, man. Wow. I'm back on the test, man. They can smell it. They can I've got smell two it. phones. That's, you know. <laughs> Whole phone. I Sorry. actually have three phones. Whoa, you're busy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, what else do we need to talk about? So, the next report will be when I get whatever my, the next time I get my blood work done, and we'll see. And I'll just let you guys go. So the the you know what the what I'm getting now is a is a is a uh, half a IU um, twice a week and what half a CC? Okay, yeah, you have it. What's an IU? Oh, IU. Units, so oh, it's a double oh, that's, unit that's of measurement. That's one tenth yeah. of a CC is an IU. Well, not no. necessarily. No, and I use it's the standard of measurement. Hey, like I'm sorry. Gram. Half a cc, twice a week, and um, so you talk about the night visions, and I'll talk about IUs. use. Uh, hey, <laughs> half a cc twice a week, and I feel better. I think I could feel even better. So when I get the next blood results in, we'll see what that half a cc twice a week has done, and go from there. Absolutely. What else? Where where all do you have places they can visit? Here we go. You guys? Yeah, that's a great one. So. Here we're in Clarksville, t Tennessee today. That's beside the fuck king. <laughs> it is technically beside the fuck king. Not technically. I mean, we were talking on the way up here. Wouldn't it be great to be a kid that lived here? Like, hey, mom, can we get some fucking noodles tonight? He's talking about an Asian cuisine place. <laughs> pho. We're not king. Yeah, it's pho king. king. It's great. It's, it's right fucking next door. <laughs> <laughs> so, Clarksville, Tennessee, Paducah, Kentucky... Lexington, Kentucky, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, currently. A couple other things in the works, but that's where we are now. Any other satellite offices? We have <laughs> contacts uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, but we, we like to call it Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay, all right. Uh, I guess that's it for now. So up here today, uh, we've got uh, Shelton, Lewis, and Joey. They're getting their blood work done. They're going to begin the process, see where they're at, and, and I already can tell you they're all low. There, I mean, we, we stopped at a restroom on the way over here, and Shelton was using the urinal, and his urine sounded feminine. <laughs> like it sounded, it sounded like a woman <laughs> was peeing. So he's, so he's watch, watching the notebook on his phone on the way here. Oh, yeah. Crying. Yep. Crying. Yep. I've Tell, seen that telling before. all his friends. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah. What kind of underwear do you have on? I don't know. I didn't watch. I, could, oh, I, I, I was just at a different urinal. I thought that was a thing with you guys. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, it must, that's you guys. That's what your, your yeah. boy Matt told me. That's we. Yeah, that's a paid thing. Easy. James Jaguar Town response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.